Hey guys, Demon Dev here, and um, in today's video, we will be going over functions. So basic functions. Uh, I have my testing one right here and a tutorial right here. Um, but we're gonna be making a new one here. You don't really need a resource pack for functions. Uh, we're not really adding anything too crazy. Um, let's just do function. Uh, actually. Just for on um, this tutorial, we're gonna be making a a basic lobby function. You know, so when somebody joins the world for the somebody joins the world to get items or whatever, you know, just something that basic. We're not gonna go into anything too complicated in this video. Just gonna keep it nice and sweet and short. All right, lobby function. Just gonna add our descriptions and our uh, title here. Uh, change our prefix. I'm gonna change mine to my name. Just do dev. And you can set it to project for use with Bedrock Dedicated Service if you want. So the first thing you notice when you create a pack, you already have a functions folder because you got the tick.json here. Um, this is going to be a really important file for us. Um, I don't know really. Where are the strings? All right, let me tell you a few things about functions before we even get into it. Functions, it's basically a file that runs multiple commands in one file. Um, it can hold up to 10,000 commands, 10,000 lines of functions. And uh, in a function file, every line equals one command. So whenever you create a new line in a function file, you're starting a new command. So you can run up to 10,000 commands in one function file. Um, you can't run conditional commands. You need a command block to do that. Um, um, you can use scoreboards and stuff to create timers and that stuff. And then, um, yeah, so that's just some basic stuff that we, we got here. Uh, tags, we're going to be using tags and a few other stuff here let me just pull up my um my file here all right so i'm gonna make a file here i'm gonna make a new file and we're gonna call main.mc function all function files are gonna end in mc function that's just how it works going to confirm this and this is going to be our main file this is where we're going to add all of our stuff so first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a scoreboard dummy and if you're using bridge this stuff's automatically going to show up for you but we're going to go with objectives add joined dummy what this is going to do, if I'm, hold on, give me a minute here. Add join dummy. And then we're going to go. That's for um, auto add objectives. So when you load into the word, it's gonna create uh, an objective. Uh, it's gonna be called joint. And then here, we're gonna do the on join system. I'm just gonna put this here. And we're gonna do scoreboard, players, add at a, joined 
zero. Up if I swap players, right? And we're gonna start a new line here. Execute as at a start an array scores equals joined equals zero at at s run function lobby slash on join sorry on underscore join uh, scoreboard players reset asterisk sign joined and scoreboard players set at a joined one and we're gonna save that here and the next thing we're gonna want to do going to want to make another folder here so we got our functions folder and inside here we're going to want to make another folder i'm going to call this one lobby and then inside of this we're going to have the various folders uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is do a on slash join dot mc function file and if you come back to here we uh we stated right here that when we when the player joins we want we want this uh, f this command right here, the main function, to run the other function, which is going to be this one, in the lobby folder on join file, which is this. And in this file, we're going to do function lobby slash items slash one function lobby slash items slash two and depending on how many items you guys want uh actually you could put all the items into one folder we're the way we we have it set up here was um we're gonna have normal items here and then we're gonna be have a set of items that are given to admins so these ones are given to every player the ones in this folder this file and then these ones are going to be given to people with the tag admin. And then we're going to do tell raw at a raw text and that should be an array and then pop it inside of it text and we're just going to set it to welcome to the world we'll just set it to that And then after that, we're going to do, we're going to place a comma and start another object here. Selector. At S. And then that should be it for that file. So we save that. And then here we're going to want to go to our lobby thing. We're going to want to create another folder. Named items. And then we're going to want two files here. We'll start with uh, one. So we'll just name this one.mc function. And 
and I had it backwards here. The way that I have it set up is um, this folder is going to give the admin stuff. This file is going to give the admin stuff, and then the second one is going to give every player something. So this one's going to uh, we're going to do give at s. That's going to check if they have the tag admin, and then we're going to give them a command block. If we go down again, we can do give at s. Check if they have the admin tag again. And let's give them a structure block. Uh, let's give them a barrier. And we'll save that. Uh, you can just ignore this stuff. It should still work. Um, I... I've had problems with like this. This has showed up when I was doing the tutorial too, and it still worked for me. And then we're going to want to make another file here. And then this one's just going to be called 2.mc function. And this one's just going to, we're going to do give at s compass give at s book. Now just the basic stuff you would see in a, a server. If you join a server, this is like some basic stuff you would see. Um, what's another one? Uh, we could do clock. Um, what's another one? Just do give at s chest. I know some people use chest as um they use the chest as um the friend system or whatever. I'm thinking, uh, when I'm working on this stuff, I'm thinking of like mini game servers and stuff, but you can obviously use this for anything. Um, any command that you can run in game, you can put inside of an MC function, unless it's a conditional command. And then, so now that we did that, we're going to want to go back to the beginning. And we're going to want to look into our tick file. And the only one that we're going to have to add here, this is going to cause the entire thing to work. Where it says values here, we're just going to add main. That's all we're going to add. Because the main tells the other stuff what to do. And that's it for that. So now if we launch Minecraft here. And we create a new world. It's Creative function testing. Turn sheets on here. Lobby function right here. We didn't have a resource pack for it, so it doesn't matter too much. Um, I don't think turn on experiments is going to change anything because functions is... It's just vanilla commands until we get into like custom commands and stuff. Uh, we just go to create. And it did not work. It's interesting. I've never had it not work before. Give me a minute here and I'll figure out what's going on. Let me check. Did it add any of the scoreboard stuff? We got. Okay, so I didn't run the function main, which is not good. Even though we have... Oh, I see the problem. I spelt function wrong on this part. But once we fix that, it should uh, it should work. And that's why um, spelling is very important when it comes to this stuff. There's just one 
one mess up and everything goes wrong. There we go. All right, there we go. Save that. Give her that one. All right. Now if we do slash reload. Actually, we got to save and quit. And then we'll rejoin. So, I know I didn't switch over to bridge, but I had spelt the MC function. I had spelt MC function wrong on the on underscore join file. Just make sure you guys have your spelling correct, and then it should work. Yeah, there it is. We got the chest, we got the clock, we got the book, and we got the compass. Now if we do slash tag at s add admin. Then we leave the world. I'm not sure if this part will work. I haven't fully tested this part yet. We'll see in a second. We might have to manually run the function for it to work. Oh, it worked. Gave me a command block and a barrier. And then you got your chest, which everybody should get. Block, book, and a compass. Now, that's uh, that's just the basic tutorial for uh, functions. I will be helping people in the Discord. If you guys join the Discord down below and have any questions about functions, I will be helping you guys out. I just, there's a lot to functions and I just didn't want to make things too complicated for you guys. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications. We'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye bye.